Hello everybody. So for this one I'm going to be showing you how to do a cartoon outline around your objects. Uh, this works for most simple objects, even more complex objects, but for now let's go ahead and go do it with this one. So first off, what I have to do, I have to duplicate this object, so I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate it. I'm going to rename the mesh to outline all right so now that I've done that what I'm going to do is I'm then going to assign a new material so I'm gonna right click assign new material I'm gonna go over to shader it's gonna be a new shader AI standard surface now for this I like to use the emission for this just because that way no cast shadows, no lights don't interact with it. It's just a solid color. So I'm going to turn off the weight for the base color. I'm going to turn off the weight for the specular. And then I'm going to scroll down here to emission. And I'm going to set that to one. So what does that look like? Well, it looks like that. I'm going to make this, and you can set your color to be anything you want. For the sake of this video, I'm going to just set it to black, just a nice black outline. So what I have to do now is I'm going to, with my outline object selected, shift right click and hit extrude. I'm going to up the thickness to, I'm going to say, Point, eh, point 0.08 seems good. So what that did is uh, it created a shell around my object. So if I hit H and I hide this object, I'm going to go into wireframe real quick. Now as you can see, these edges are doubled up on each other. So if I click on it now, you can see this is my exterior faces and I have interior faces. I want to delete my interior faces. I'm going to select this outside shell and I'm going to select this outside shell. And I'm going to control shift I to invert my selection and then control and delete. That deletes my interior uh, faces. So now I can use my actual object as my interior mesh, which is what I want to do. So if I now go into object mode and go into Arnold and I hit render, nothing's going to show up. So what I have to do is I have to go to outline shape with my outline selected, turn off cast shadows, receive shadows, motion blur, smooth shading, visible, visible, and double sided. So now if I hit the PBR, you can see my object is showing up. However, my outline is not. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the color of this because I didn't realize I had turned off the visibility. So if I come back to my, uh, actually, if I come back here, I'm going to turn my HDRI back on. And there we go. Now, as you can see, looks great. However, there is one small problem. Say I want to change the color of this object. With my outline selected, I go over to my uh, material. I'm going to actually call this outline. Say I want it to be red. So if I change it to any other color other than black, what it's going to do is the light is going to change the coloring of my object, which is something I do not want. So to fix that, I'm going to go back to my outline shape. I'm going to close render stats and I'm going to scroll down to Arnold. I'm going to open up Arnold. And I'm going to turn off everything except for primary visibility. So diffuse reflections, that means it will not affect the color. 
The specular reflections, which means it will not affect the color of the light being bounced. Diffuse transmission, this has to do if any of your, uh, it won't mess with the color of any glass shaders that you might have. Specular transmission, same thing. Turn off volume and self shadows. So now, if I rotate around this object, as you can see, with ray tracing enabled in Arnold Renderer, I now have a tune outline around my object that follows it as I rotate my object. This is more for stylizing something to make it look interesting, make it stand out. So in all honesty, I would probably go with a just a straight black outline. Red's a little too aggressive, so I'm going to set it to black. And that's how you go about outlining your, your models. And now, say I don't like how thin this is, I can come over, because I haven't deleted any of my history, I can come over here and I can mess with the thickness of this, uh, of the line, by messing with the thickness of the extrusion. So I have it set to 0 0.08, I can set it to 0.1. That makes the line a little bit thicker. Just to exaggerate it, I'm going to put it to 0.5. Okay. I'm going to put this back down to 0 0.0. Let's do 0 0.02. Now it's subtle and it adds a little bit of sharpness around this object and it helps it stand out from the background. Helps it give it that hand drawn feel. So just wanted to show this online. I didn't see much documentation on this or many tutorials on this. I wanted to put this one out because it seemed like a good idea. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys later.